everyone. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of Chirp Central. I'm Sandra Osadek. We start off with an interview from junior wide receiver Justin Hall. We asked how the team is preparing for the big homecoming game against Toledo after coming off an exciting win against Eastern Michigan. Uh, we're kind of confident, but uh, we got to get to work. So we just got to stay on course and just keep doing what we're doing and just build up the momentum. This Friday, for the first time ever, the Bed Race will be broadcast live on Sportslink and Ball State University's Facebook pages. Check out this preview of the special homecoming event. Chris Crum not only shares a bond with his teammate, but also with his dog, Bear, a Norwegian elk hound that he rescued his sophomore year of high school. Good boy. Oh, I'm a huge dog person, regardless, like, it's not even a question. I rescued Bear. So when I, I was growing up and I had a Norwegian elk hound just like him, so I grew up with him, saved him, and he passed away when I was in seventh grade. And it was like a really hard time because he passed away and my grandpa did and there's a bunch of stuff going on and I just kind of didn't really, I couldn't get another dog and I didn't really want another dog. And it was like a struggle for a couple years and then uh, sophomore in high school and my mom sent me a text and it was a picture of another Norwegian elk hound that was named Bear, just like my original one. Cross Country laces up for a home meet this Friday at Elks Country Club here in Muncie. We caught up with Coach McFarlane and sophomore Carly Connor to talk about the expectations going into Friday's meet. I think as a team, we're really focused on taking risks. Um, we talk, had a talk last week just about being, finishing a race and just knowing you gave it all you had, so we want to test those limits. The work they've put in and, and what we, as a team, see in practice every day. I mean, they're just ready to showcase it when we step on the line for races, so they're really just looking forward to, to every opportunity. Victory Honda of Muncie is proud to support the student athletes at Ball State and the students in Sportsling. For more info, visit victorymuncie.com. Swimming and diving opens their season this Saturday at Purdue. One swimmer to pay close attention to is Jared Holder. Here's a glimpse of his story on how he got to Ball State. Kai and I have always been like best friends growing up. We've, we saw each other once a month and then uh, when I came here and now we're like, we're siblings basically. I have two younger brothers so he definitely just fit in. I just always like kind of considered him to be a younger brother to me so I always kind of just like pushed him to be the guy he is today. As the kids were growing up, they were always around the pool and Jared was a little afraid of the water when he was younger and so our kids were very gracious in helping him to get into the pool. They had like this 10 foot slide, like blow up slide. And one day I was sitting on the top of it, had no idea how to swim this, and going to the deep end, Kaya walks up and just shoves me off. And I kind of just figured out how to swim, like it wasn't good. But I doggy paddle, then after that I wasn't afraid of the water. He didn't really like it that much, same with his younger sisters, but um, we kind of forced it and if they wanted to play with us, they had to swim. Basketball season hasn't quite hit us yet, but it has for two former Cardinal stars, Taylor Persons and Trey Moses. The two competed in the Dutch Basketball League over in Europe and it was a special moment. Persons posted on his Instagram, my brother for life, keep chasing your dream, my guy. I'll meet you at the top, so proud of you. Hashtag brothers for life. Here are four players to watch for this week. Maritza Rodriguez finished the Lou Cross Country Classic as the fastest runner in the MAC. Antonio Phillips got his second interception of the season against Eastern Michigan last week. Swimmer Ann Warmore was named to the 2019 Academic All-MAC team. She helps lead her squad as they face off against Purdue on Saturday. Amber Seaman compiled 44 total assists last weekend as Ball State split its two matches. The Cardinals are back in action at Ohio and Kent State this weekend. 
That does it for this week's edition of Chirp Central presented by Victory Honda of Muncie. Thank you for watching and be sure to follow Ball State Sports Link on Twitter at BSU Sports Link and on Facebook and Instagram.